If you're still watching crypto content, you're still investing in cryptocurrency, you're still educating yourself every single day about this budding industry, congratulations, because it is hard, very hard right now to stay focused, to see the long-term value of investing in cryptocurrency. And I wanted to make this video not to just tell you that crypto is all going to the moon and just it's going to be the best thing ever. And I want to make this video and be realistic and say, listen, it's going to be a long haul. I mean, crypto is so, so new and we're so, so early, just crossing 5% of global adoption. However, you have a seat at the table now to a budding industry that is yet to go mainstream. Don't lose sight of that. I'm not giving up on cryptocurrency at all. In fact, this is exactly what happened during the dot-com crash. What happened to the internet and the dot-com era? It came back with a vengeance. In fact, there are some really, really interesting similarities. When the dot-com bubble bursted, we were sitting at about a $3 trillion market cap with all of these new dot-com, of course, Many people remember Pets.com and so many others that went under, that went belly up. What happened here with the crypto industry in 2021? We reached around a $3 trillion market cap before we folded here in 2022. A lot of it was out of our control as well. A lot of it had to do with a worldwide pandemic we were battling. A lot of it had to do with inflation we haven't seen in the United States in 40 years. A war going on in Ukraine. A lot of macroeconomic factors working against us here, but it doesn't change the underlying technology behind blockchain. We're still going to be using it. It's still the future. That's why we can't lose sight of this right now. It's so easy to mentally, physically, emotionally check out. But now's the time to be learning more than ever and investing more than ever. I'm not saying go all in right now because we could see lower lows, but we just don't know. So dollar cost average is the way to go. See what I did there? Now, I want to take you inside a quick article and talk about what billionaire Mark Cuban also has to say about this. So billionaire Mark Cuban, uh, he's not giving up on crypto either. He says a lot of people made a lot of mistakes. That doesn't change the underlying value of the technology's applications. Look, you still use it for DeFi. There's still all kinds of applications. That's all that matters. Speaking of the FTX disaster, Cuban suggested that founder Sam Bankman-Fried could end up serving a long jail sentence. I don't know all the details, but it sure sounds bad, the billionaire added. Now, the Shark Tank star admits he viewed Bankman-Fried as a smart guy. Many people did. And he had no idea that he was capable of committing alleged fraud with other people's money. As reported by you today, Cuban was originally a staunch cryptocurrency skeptic. Back in 2020, he said that he would prefer a banana over Bitcoin since the former has potassium, a valuable nutrient. But the billionaire definitely warmed up to digital currencies in early 2021, turning into a crypto advocate. Last March, the Mavs became the first NBA team to start accepting Dogecoin as a payment method. However, the Shark Tank co-host has faced extreme backlash last June after a DeFi project he promoted ended up crashing to zero. And that's just the thing. A lot of people like to come at us as YouTube influencers and say that we're the reason. And listen, guys, we only have what the devs show us from these projects. All of us collectively, including the likes of Mark Cuban, are trying to do our best to navigate these crypto waters. There will be investments that we go into that fail. That happens in the stock market. That happens when you invest in private companies, and VCs do this all the time. They're not looking to win every time. In fact, they know it's not feasible. But when you win big a few times, you guess right a few times, it makes your investing career. Point blank, period. All you need is to be right a few times. Be right in a big way. So even Mark Cuban has faced the backlash after he was talking about a DeFi project that he promoted ended up crashing to zero. Not to mention Mark Cuban also touted Voyager, 
which went belly up, a company that looked really strong fundamentally, didn't last. That's what happens with new sectors, new markets. And that's where crypto is right now. But what can we do? We can continue to learn, continue to take everything in stride, know that we're going to miss out on some opportunities. We're going to make mistakes. But if we stay in the game, we're going to hit on a lot of these opportunities as well. And we know what types of gains exist in the cryptocurrency market if we just stay the course. So I think we can learn a lot from what Mark Cuban has went through. And we've all been through it as well. If you're still here, if you're still here, kudos to you because it's been brutal in 2022, but we keep moving forward. We keep learning every single day. And eventually, we're going to look up five to 10 years from now and be very, very grateful that we stayed in the game. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to hit the like button. Let me know what you think about this video down below in the comment section. Sorry for all the bots down there. We got to figure this out on YouTube. Hopefully, they can get it cleaned up. They've been absolutely crazy lately, so sorry for all the bots, but I do see all the real comments from you guys down there and appreciate it. Thank you all. See you.